These two really want to fight me, and they seem so bad. I mean, look at this. What is Warbo and Stalker Jacket? Are you kidding me? Where are you going? You going to their spawn? What the oh my god, the Galatine pair actually killed all of us. No. That's so embarrassing. Hey! Hey, yo, hey, I'm back. Day 9. It's day 9 time. Honey Roasted Ham is my new character, and we're about to get premium. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, so just uh, finished buying some starter gear. Uh, so this character is going to be a healer. It's not going to only be a healer. I'm also going to be getting a blood letter spec, and it's going to be uh, a healer for group and difficult PVM. Uh, so stuff like in the roads for example uh, as well as group uh, if i join a guild i can do group dungeons stuff like that with the you know healing that's nice and also i'm going to be doing arena on this character because i do enjoy playing healer in the arena which is why we're going with the royal shoes in the inventory like getting ready to use those because they're pretty great for for healing at least in arenas now i'm obviously going to be really low IP, but that's fine. I think I can still make a difference in arenas, but I should at least get the uh, Holy Blessing W, which I don't even know when you unlock that. Let's take a look here. Oh God, level 40. All right, well, we can make that. We'll, we'll, we'll get that and then we'll use, uh, we'll start doing some arenas. We're also going to be gathering because I figured if I'm going to be using the blood letter, I might as well also get some gathering spec because it is a great weapon to use while gathering. So yeah, this this character is going to have quite a different progression than the other characters. I don't really want to be playing it in Corrupted Dungeons, even though I know that uh, like Holy in Corrupted Dungeons is pretty good. Uh, and I, I have played it before, but I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, yeah, either way, I'm going to start faming up and hopefully we can get uh, some stuff done. All right. All right. We already got the learning point for Journeyman Animal Skin, so T3 Skinning. And I'm thinking I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm actually just going to be spending money on the tier 4 tomes just to get everything to tier 4 and then we'll move on to doing roads content as uh, as long as you find a tier 4 road you can get a lot of tier 4 gathering done as well as PvE. Yeah, that is my plan for now but once I figure out that that's going to be a terrible idea, uh, which is usually how most of my ideas go, I'll probably end up changing to something else but that is at least the plan for now. Uh, so I didn't really think it through so much uh, when I was in town, but like I should have definitely bought a bag as well as um, a pie, like pork pie, uh, as the food just to make the leveling a little bit faster. Uh, if you eat a pork pie at base tier 7 pork pie, it'll basically make your gathering level up 15% faster, uh, which would be pretty beneficial for for leveling up but uh all in all like these first few gathering levels go by really fast so i don't really think it's too much to worry about all right we got journeyman lumberjack as well as getting journeyman mage so we can equip the holy staff now uh nice but i do also have to yeah i need to get the torch going so i can use the mist caller as well i'm starting to get the hang of making new characters but <laughs> It's like uh, so much, so many steps you have to deal with to get there. All right, there's journeyman adventure, so now I can use this tier three riding horse finally. That, that'll help my movement speed a little bit. I thought it was actually gonna be a little bit more uh, carry weight, but uh, I guess that's okay. We can also use tier three bags. Absolutely huge. <laughs> All right. Look at this dude, man. He's got control of the 4.3 spawn. He was fast on that thing too, man. He's ready. He's uh, he's making some serious bank doing that. He'll be there all day, man. All right, there's Journeyman Hunter, so I can use the torch now. Back to Holy Staff and torch. Yeah, nice. Oh, I found a T3 bag. That's so useful, actually. <laughs> All right, there's Journeyman Courier uh, learning point reached. So that's all three um, of the gathering materials that I can gather in the forest biome. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. We got these three right here. So now I'm just missing fiber and metal. 
but I will go ahead and spend the learning points on those now. Let's see. So learn that. There are only five learning points each, so it doesn't really even hurt that much doing that. Feels good. Uh, so for these, I need 30,000 fame for each. So we're going to figure out how uh, best best way of doing that. Okay, I kind of thought that the gathering tomes gave more fame than they do. It's 1,000 gathering fame uh, for the tier 4 ones. Um, so that would mean that to get it fully leveled, I would need 30 of them, which would be about 3 mil with the current prices, uh, which is definitely not worth it. But uh, if I were to use the learning points on at least uh, Skinner, because skinning is what kind of what you make the most silver doing anyway uh then i think it's probably worth it uh, i only need to get 20 percent of 30,000, which if i'm doing quick maths uh 6,000, so it'll be 600k to uh just completely negate the tier 4 grind which uh, probably worth yeah i'm gonna go for it all right there's the learning point for adept skinner get that so now we can wear the skinner garb as well as uh tier 4 skinning knife and that's going to just listen it's not like you're going to be making a lot of money from getting medium hide but it's um just good to get like the early levels done so that you can at least gather the tier 4 stuff and t5 stuff if i want to go into the roads as um gathering the mobs is uh pretty pretty good for leveling up uh your gathering either way yeah let's uh let's figure out what we do for the last two resource gathering professions and uh we'll hopefully get everything to at least tier three before heading out into the black zone all right all right so i decided i'm just going to be teleporting around to get the gathering required for tier three in all the gathering professions so that means that i'm going to be teleporting to thetford first to get the fiber gathering done so we're gonna do that real quick and there's journeyman fiber harvester so let's go ahead and learn that and all that's left is mining so ore miner we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, fort sterling all right and there's journeyman ore miner so pick that up and yeah now we have tier three everything as well as tier four animal skinner so i think it's time to uh yeah go back to limhurst and start gathering for real there are so many people in these blue zones right now, like 128 people in Ferndale and um, Birch Copes wasn't much better. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to see what's going on in Willowwood, even though it's a tier 5 zone. I'm thinking that uh, it's probably not going to be as crowded as this place is because this is nuts. Hey, we just unlocked tier 4 armor. Uh, nice. Big upgrade. All right, I unlocked the uh, tier four holy staff and mist collar now. So, yeah, we're a four point one out of our mind at this point. Very nice. <laughs> tier three hide. Oh my god, look at that! All right, there's expert reaver unlocked. So that means we can pretty much go to the black zone. Uh, I might stick around a little bit longer just to gather a little bit more. But yeah, I'll try to figure out what I'm gonna do. Yep. Alright, so if you've been watching for long enough and seen the other characters, um, probably already know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go from Limhurst Portal to Merlin's Rest, which is really not very far, by the way. Like, it's kind of weird how Merlin's Rest is, like, so close to Limhurst, while the other cities are, like... Like, look at this one. It's, Morgana's Rest is so far away. It's still not, like, super far, but still... This is like just a few zones away, you know? But uh, yeah, either we're going to Merlin's Rest and going to be playing out of there for a little while just to fame up and yeah, get some uh, gathering levels as well. All right. Oh, uh, well, we actually found some sort of gankers. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'm on. I'm on a base of jumper. Oh dear. These seem like the kind of people who are gonna actually chase me through the zone, but um super not worth, but you already know how it goes. Now it looks like we made it out just fine. But uh definitely a very scary set. Oh hello. That's like the worst possible spawn for this thing, man. Like right on the roof. 
Next to the bank, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, that thing's going to be there for a while, probably. Okay, well, we made it to Merlin's Rest here. Go ahead and set it as home. And, yeah, I think actually what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go into the Mists with probably not this build, at least not with the Royal Cowl and Royal Shoes. No, just wear some cheaper options and yeah, just keep the build as cheap as possible because I do think that the Mists are actually pretty good for leveling Gathering as it's pretty similar to the roads with having like all types of gathering mobs uh, as well as actually being kind of decent fame as long as you are kind of focused on that and as long as i go very cheap sets like i could even go flat for 4.1 then i think we should be good the only problem is i don't have t6 reavers so the mobs are going to be pretty difficult i'm probably just not going to go to the uh camps right away because that's going to be just suicide but yeah what i want to show you guys is uh the loadout system in case you didn't, I'm pretty sure like most people know at least about the loadout system, but one of the favorite things that I like to do with it is actually make uh, loadouts for gathering. So you can do this with gathering tools and gathering tomes, but I think it's super useful so you don't have to spend uh, time. Just in case you do get ganked and die while gathering, you can easily get back out there. So uh, we're just going to call this loadout tools. And what you can do is just go to the bag slot here um, and find the different tools that you want. So just whatever level you have in the different tools. So those are all five of the tools. I have tier four skinning and then tier three and the rest. Uh, then just go ahead and save the changes. Come to the marketplace here. And I don't really know the prices here in Marlin's Rest. It might be kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it honestly isn't even like that. But yeah, I already have the skinning knife in my inventory and the ax and the stone hammer. So just go ahead and buy that for 15,000 and yeah, if I die, I can just quickly use that to buy a new set as well as making a loadout for my actual gear so that, you know, at least it doesn't, when you die over and over in Albion, at least you can uh, re-gear quickly. So at least you don't have to deal with that headache anymore, which is very nice. Yeah, all right. Oh, yo, I found a spiky boss, but I don't have tier 6 reaver. Well, I really want to try to do that spiky boss. I don't know if we're going to be able to before someone else does, though. Alright, well, the mist is closing in 4 minutes and 30 seconds, and I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to get to tier 6 reaver before that happens and to kill the boss, so we're just going to try. Oh my god. Okay, I need to not get hit by stuff. Oh my god. Oh. I think we need to stay close to him so that we can avoid getting hit by some stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> He's definitely hurting quite a bit. And I'm running out of mana. Oh. oh my god, this is too close. No! Oh. Really? Good Good kill. Good kill. Oh, okay. I was able to quickly rebuy my set and get my tools in order uh, thanks to my loadouts. But as you can see, the sickle, cheapest tier 3 sickle, is 400k right now. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm probably one of the only ones buying tools and someone saw that I bought their sickle. So now they're trying to uh, scam me probably uh since there's just such a low like amount of stuff traded in merlin's rest at least for tier three gathering tools so yeah definitely watch out for that if you're buying loadouts but other than that it's a great system all right well after spending a little bit of time in the mists and trying to gather i was to noticing it was pretty bad for it and i think there was someone gathering tier four resources in there as well because a lot of the um actual resources that were there like the trees and like not the mobs were uh, missing some ticks so that does lead lead me to believe that someone was out there gathering but uh that also means that there really wasn't much gathering for me to do as well as uh there wasn't really any mobs which are what you want to be killing if you're not tier four yet so that's not great for leveling up. So what we're going to do is actually be gathering. 
we're gonna go to a tier 5 zone and do gathering and like mob clearing so first we're gonna go to giant weld dale uh, which is a forest zone so there we'll be leveling up our uh, axe quite a bit as well as the stone hammer uh, those gathering trees as well as just leveling up the uh, spec on my weapon as well so it's just going to be like a little bit of uh, all types of content like getting gathering fame and pve fame all right let's uh i'll clip to when i get there oh it's another spiky boss and it's t6 again ah uh, man uh well i think you know this one is possible to do as long as i get master reaver i think it's definitely a good idea to get before trying it but yeah i definitely want to do that all right let's let's do that wait i think i'm actually going to be able to do this thing without even having tier 6 reaver because it was quite a bit easier than the boss in the mists uh, as well as being like very easy to dodge his abilities so yeah i'm just i'm just gonna try it Yeah, okay, that hurt really bad. Oh, that hit me too? Okay, alright, we'll avoid that at all costs. Oh my god. What the hell happened? There's like 20 people all around me. Ah, uh, I don't think I'll be able to do that boss though, now everyone's seen me. Yo, very nice. That's a lot of progression done right there. Got tier 6 Reaver and 22% into T7. So yeah, that helps the account quite a bit. Very awesome. Oh my god, no. Dude, they got a whole f Like, what the fuck is this, dude? These two really want to fight me, and they seem so bad. I mean, look at this. What is Warbo and Stalker Jacket? Are you kidding me? And this dude got freaking Guardian Armor on, dude. And I'm pretty sure it's only those two, and I want to fight them so bad. I wish I had an omelet, but, um... I mean, honestly, I might just fight them anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Yo, he just struck me. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm missing this guy. Hey, yo. All right, good fight. Good fight, boys. The absolute degeneracy that is. <laughs> Holy stuff in PvP. Good fight, good fight.
Hey, we got T7 Reaver at some point. I don't really know when that happened, but that's pretty huge. Let's go. Uh, Alright, we got Adept Lumberjack, so that's tier 4 in woodcutting. Um, I unlocked the ability to use learning points on it, but I'm not going to use learning points on it. Uh, at least not yet. So my plan right now is that I'm going to get a uh, level... T or, sorry, I'm going to uh, use learning points on getting this, but only when I hit... Uh, only when it gets to 20 learning points. So I am planning on using learning points on the Adept Lumberjack, but only when it reaches 20, like when the required amount of learning points to get the level is 20, because that way, uh, at the rate I'm getting learning points now, I think I'll be able to get, you know, Lumberjack, and then I'll wait for 20 on ore mining and fiber harvesting, and that way I'll have tier 4 on all three of these within... Yeah, no, not too long. I, I don't know really the rate of... You get 20 learning points per day, so it's a little over one an hour. Or a little less than one an hour. So, yeah. Tomorrow I should have tier 4 in all gathering. Uh, except for stone, because I, I don't want to spend the learning points on stone, honestly. This is super bad. <laughs> Alright, run, 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 run. Oh, it ended up being okay. Wait, he's almost dead? Yeah, I'll risk it. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I, I regret it. I regret it. Okay. Damn it. Oh, God. Good fight, good fight. This chest is still here and it's blue. Wowzers. Oh, that's absolutely massive. Okay, so we are back in the mist just because I feel like I might not have given it enough of a chance. Uh, just because the mist that I was in before did seem to have someone gathering it as well. So maybe this one will be better. It is an uncommon mist. Uh, so, hopefully there should be less people. There's a 4.1. That's huge. Also, uh, uncommon mists also give you more fame and uh, might and such for doing the different tasks around. So, yeah, it is pretty worth coming into a an uncommon mist or any of the enchanted mists, really, if you do happen to find them. So yeah, I'm going to be gathering here for a little bit and uh, yeah, faming up as well. Job. All right, we're having some issues getting tools here at the uh, starting, not the starting city, the, uh, the Black Zone City, um, Merlin's Rest. So what we're going to do is actually craft them ourselves at the Grandmaster Toolmaker right here. Uh, see, its usage fee isn't too bad, and I also only need to craft like tier 3, tier 4, so it's really not too expensive at all. So I'm just going to do that and craft a few sets for myself so I don't have to keep buying them and almost buying the 200 and, no, 399,000 silver sickle. Darn it.
Okay, so I crafted five pieces of each of the gathering tools that I need, so I finally can actually, uh, well, just grab the ones that I need without dealing with the marketplace uh, shenanigans that are here. So if I just uh, click on tools from the drop down menu here and then click equip, then I just grab them from my bank. Uh, super simple. All right. Let's find another mist, and uh, I'll try not to get into a fight this time. <laughs> I literally go to this camp for like two seconds, man. Oh, dude. Like, why do you care so much about killing me? I'm 4.1, my dude. Oh, my lord. Hmm. Whoever that is, uh, you are now going to be on YouTube for eternity to do that. Imagine seeing this and you're like, oh my lord, this is my calling. <laughs> like, what the hell, dude? So I just finished up this camp right here. And with that, I believe I got to level 40. Yeah, uh, well, I got to level 40 a little while ago on the mastery for priest, which means that I get holy blessing. And with holy blessing, I am going to go do some arenas, but I just found the spider, so... Wow, this could be good. This could be good. 212,000 fame, damn. And another 200k, wow. Pretty damn good to get a spider. Uh, this early on in the account, so... Yeah. Hopefully I find more of those, I guess. Oh yeah, but we're gonna go do some arenas. Yes, that is my plan. I want to do, hopefully, get at least like one or two wins before the reset of uh, the daily rewards. I don't really know when the daily rewards reset for arena. Uh, in case you don't know, healers get like a little bit extra fame tomes for doing arena. So I'll get, you know, 10,000 fame. It's like whatever. But uh, the daily rewards are really nice uh, to get, so yeah, I'm going to go head back and try to get a set of gear and do some arenas before I run out of time. Alright. Alright, so we do have our setup here. It's the same setup that I had at the beginning of the video with the uh, royal shoes and royal cowl. Uh, just to make sure I have enough energy with the Royal Cowl, it's a little bit overkill to go limb escape. It's, it's definitely overkill, but whatever. Like, I'm not trying to be super meta with this uh, build. Uh, Royal Shoes are good because it has a pretty huge iframe. Uh, also immune to purges and stuff. It's good. Also low cooldown. It's very nice omelets. And I bought a bunch of resistance potions just to... Uh, be able to use... Like, I bought the tier 3 ones to be able to use them without... Uh, feeling like guilty about spending too much silver or anything uh, and then I want to go over quickly when it comes to actually healing in in Albion there is a uh, trick that I do to make it a lot easier uh, so what I'm going to do is change the keybinds of select party member 1 through 5 to be alt 1 two, three, four, and five. Uh, that way I can easily swap between them because I am going to be pressing alt a lot because using my Q on myself is also alt Q. So that way I can have, which is, that's a really important keybind to have because if I have someone selected, which no one is in the zone right now, but yeah, if I did have someone selected, then I can still heal myself by pressing alt Q even though I have them selected. Uh, now you can also just run Holy Flash uh, and make it pretty easy as the AoE heal. But uh, I personally like Generous Heal. Uh, kind of depends on the situation, what kind of team comp you get. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the arena now.
Oh, I was about to use my F. If I would have iframed that, oof, that would have felt really good, but unfortunately I did not. I also could have drank my resist pot. Yeah, I'm not very, uh, you know, I haven't really played very competitively in a little while, so I might be pretty rusty, and I apologize for that. But our team is definitely cleaning up here, and I am going to swap to the AoE heal, because I think that's going to be a little bit stronger in this particular arena. I thought I was on the single target queue. Okay, it's a good thing we won right there because I was starting to, uh, starting to panic a little bit. But, alright, that took like 10 minutes or so. That's pretty good. So first, I feel like that's a good start, winning your first arena match. I feel like that. that's, that's a pretty good start. Yeah, let's queue up for another one. keep everyone alive if I can. Did it? Kind of a surprisingly low amount of damage. Okay, I do kind of be healing though. Nice. Like, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about how I'm playing right now. Of course, my whole team has Hellion Jacket, so that does make it a little easier as well, but... Yeah, we are just absolutely stomping these guys. <laughs> We're surviving, we're surviving. Yeah, uh, we're good, man. No problem. <laughs> okay, kind of clean with it, though. <laughs> Let's go. He has Hunter's jacket. Oh, God. Alright. Good fight. Alright, and we do still have the daily rewards up, so I'm assuming that it resets at the same time as server reset, which is uh, when the server goes offline for maintenance at like 11, 10 UTC? I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, let's get our last reward and then we'll open all three rewards at the same time. Yeah. I have healing sickness. Oh my god. I 
Okay, well this has been an absolute bloodbath so far. Both teams have fucking died. That's, uh, that was to be expected. Uh, oh my god, the Galatine Fair actually killed all of us. <laughs> no. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god, just run to me, dude. Holy, what are you doing? Where are you going? You're going to their spawn? What the? Oh. I can't. <laughs> You've been running away from me and I'm on this ledge. Uh, why? This guy should definitely be dead. Why? Oh, I mistimed that. Oh, God. Where is our team right now? Like, what is this? Uh <laughs> Dude, that game was just all over the place, man. Like, I feel like we just had one person on each pillar or, like, capture point for the whole game. Like, what was, what was that? That was so bad. I needed to use my cleric robe right there. That was really bad. A Miss Walker jacket, man. It's. I feel like it's not helping you. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going, dude? This is, you see, now this I can handle when we're just, just brawling it out. But man, it hasn't been like this for a long time. And now everyone is leaving again. It's like, why? I really don't understand what my team is doing, man. It's so fucking annoying. Like, why don't- we- We fought for like, a good- over a minute just over this, like, middle point here, and then everyone just left. It's like, we were winning that fight, what are you guys doing? Anyway, that was the last, uh, arena that I'm gonna do tonight, at least. I'll probably do one tomorrow. I mean, I don't know, I lost my- daily reward that's that's fine uh we got two so i'll take that uh you can open these to get royal sigils and it was about as profitable as just selling them on the market as they are in bag form let's open these and we get wow 75 tomes of, oh and they're the uh tier two tomes of inside as well pretty good all right uh, that was it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, have a good one. Bye.